When I look at the Apostle Paul's life, one of the observations I have is that the man was unstoppable. There was this commercial when I was growing up with an Energizer bunny, and this bunny with an Energizer battery would keep going and going and going and going. The Apostle Paul in many ways was the same way. You could beat him, you could stone him, you could imprison him, but you couldn't stop him. He turned the world upside down for Christ. In fact, most of us who are Christians today are Christians because of the Apostle Paul's influence. He was the apostle to the Gentiles. The only way that Nero could stop him was by cutting off his head. So how do we live lives like that? How can we be unstoppable like the Apostle Paul? We must realize that Paul relied upon the unstoppable power of the Holy Spirit. Over and over and over again, Paul's exhortation was to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And that strength that he's talking about is not an active strength, as in you be strong. It was a passive strength, as in you be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit. He says in 2 Corinthians 12, 10, for the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It was the Holy Spirit's power in him that made him unstoppable. He told the Corinthians that his speech and his message did not come in plausible words, but in demonstration of the Spirit and in power. If we are going to see God's unstoppable power displayed today in the church, it will not be through our own strength, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. And the only way to be powerful in the Holy Spirit is through humility and prayer. And so we as the church must humble ourselves and seek the unstoppable power that only comes through God in the ministry of the Holy Spirit.